Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, got Chris with me. Hey y'all. And we're looking at this experiment uh, by Maverick Unloaded, and we're, I got some questions about it. Okay, now the way he did it was he had his compass, and he had his magnet that was right next to his compass. So what he was doing was taking his magnet and spinning it. And you can see how that creates a pole shift. Right. You, create, you see how the pole shift is pretty violent. If I were to get it right. Right. And basically what he says is right. When it, I guess when it gets to 40 degrees, there's an actual pole shift. But the thing that I, the problem that I have with his experiment is that his magnet is this close, as if the thing that's acting on the magnetosphere is this close to the Earth. Right. Now he doesn't use it where his magnet is right above the Earth, right, or right, but right in the Earth's core, because then wherever the core turned, it would turn, and the core is not all of a sudden going to make a quick jump on its own. Under right. its own power. Something has to be acting on it to make it jump. Right? Right. And once it jumps, then the, mag the poles will jump. But there has to be something acting on the core. So the problem that I have with his experiment is that he has his magnet here. What's acting on the magnetosphere from there? We learn from text that the sun is actually what's acting on the core. Was acting on our, our magnetosphere. Right. And if you think about it, it has its own magnetosphere. Mm. And we are within it, right? Right. Just like the moon is within ours. So if we take away the sun altogether, our poles will point to the north. Right? right. But somehow the sun is coming interacting close enough to where it's acting on the magnetosphere. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing is, I can get so close that I can still create a pole shift when it rotates. See that? I'm creating a pole shift. Right. But the thing is, the, the poles on the sun uh, switch positions every 11, 11 years. Did you know that? Um, I knew there was a period, but I didn't know it was so close. Right. So... We understand that it's the sun that's acting on our on our magnetic field, and its magnetic field changes every eleven years. Mm -hmm. So when you look at our pole, is it flipping every eleven years? No. Well, according to our experiment that we're doing here, our sun is too close. Our sun needs to back up just a little bit to where only the major pole shifts affect the Earth. Well. Well, what we're showing here is, is there such thing as a major pole shift? So you get here, and you have the sun that's still now uh, changing its pole 11, every 11 years. Right. But notice that the Earth is not changing its poles. Right. And if, huh? It's just wobbling. And if you look at the data... You can find where the poles have been doing this for a long time. Ever since recorded data, they've been going around and doing this. Around up there in the North Pole. But see how it gets over there and now it's ready to do a flip? Right. All it takes is something right there at that point and we can flip it. Okay, what about an EMP? What about an electromagnetic pulse in the atmosphere? Right along somewhere around that time. Because see, this is caused by man. Man does this. Right. So all we have to see how it's so close to flipping. And all it would take would be something to happen. To happen. And you flip the whole thing. And as we just saw, the compass just made a whole revolution. A whole revolution. Yeah. If and, and 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 it's just and normally out at this distance, it doesn't. But then every so often it does. Right. See so what if we go real slow? See, it almost wants to, but it doesn't. And all it's... And see, this, this changes throughout the year, right? right? Sometimes the sun is a little bit closer. And so if something happened when the sun was a little bit closer, then, uh, yeah, we got to flip. Right. Well, guess when it's the closest? Hmm. December, right? 
Right. And if you're following, you know, December, Hanukkah, December 2024, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll say that part. Got some big things in coming. I don't know. I'm reading another book. <laughs> but I did want to share this with the guy because I have been thinking on this. Like I said, his, his thing is here. Right. But there's nothing doing, and and there's your. It, it should be noted out. I'm not saying that his experiment is wrong. It, sh, it pulls out some great points. Notice that big whipping effect right there. That's the global earthquake. Right. See how it shakes. They say the earth is going to shake like a dog getting out of the water. Notice how it happens quick. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's the whole earth in a twinkling of an eye. Right. And so there's a lot of things that's lining up with this, but. We'll, we'll try to put out more videos on it, Lord willing. Okay. So I guess that's that on that. That on that.